Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, snare here at the beach uh, for all the beginners that uh, wasn't really sure what to do. Um, you gotta need a lot of uh, extra snare with you because uh, most likely beginners will lose their snare accidentally by not looking properly on uh, your line. All right, so today I'm gonna show you guys what to do to start your crab snaring, right? Uh, crab snaring for uh, for crab at least you need 10 10 foot of uh, rod all right and uh, this is this one right here is 11 uh, foot uh, prevail pen prevail it's uh, and the lines uh, 15 to 30 pounds all right I'm using a 35 pounds braid all right, this is braid right here. Um, when fishing on a pier, uh, most likely they're uh, kind of like recommend for you to use uh, mono because uh, it's just so getting crowded over there. And uh, when, once you get tangled with another line, and it's just a uh, pain in the ass to separate it. But, you know, well, it's not really a rules, but just to uh, respect others. And for my uh, for my reel, I have a a pan fierce two. This is six thousand. You can go six thousand or higher. Main thing about crab snaring, you don't have to use your drag, so just keep it tight because you don't want no uh, uh, loosen your line while uh, you know reeling a, a heavy crab. Alright, so the first time I cast my uh, snare, I wait for 10 minutes and then for uh, after 10 minutes, check it.
undersized. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's go check out our snare after 10 minutes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to check if there's crab on top of my snare. All right. By doing that, I'm gonna uh, reel in slowly and pull it slowly until I feel the heavy. If it's not heavy, it means that there's no crab, all right? All right, so there's crab over here. here but it's undersized come on where's the big crab at it's a lot of female crab today crab you need a bucket a cooler or anything to put your crab on like this one right here this is what i use for crab right here then you can put open this up put your water in there all right i'm in a air bubble all right the other thing that you need is your bait all right for a crab snaring you can use mackerel some used fish uh, leftover anchovies or fresh anchovies so whenever you go fishing you have some leftover of anchovies uh, don't forget to just save them up don't throw them away uh, right here I got a, a, a slice of uh, cut chicken All right, chicken will last you for a, few, for a long time until all this crap taking all your bait all right yep uh, for your uh, for your bait you can use procure or uh, other uh, you can use procure or, or other things that make your uh, to add a scent all right so uh, when when uh, getting snare all right, so this this is my snare right here. This is one of my snare right here that I made. All right, this is my dragon snare right here. My regular weight snare. My other dragon snare. All right. And uh, the one that I have is my grenade snare, which is I had it on my line right now. But um, but you can get. Uh, you can order um, a snare from different local fishermen. Um, this one is from um, 
crab on digs uh, right here so if you want to order this go message him in uh, Instagram on a crab on digs we have canned crab slayer we have uh, Cali crab we have vivid snare you can uh, and some uh, other but uh, I will put everything listed uh, see where you can get your snare around here in the bay alright so, yeah right here with ocean beach right here the water right now is going high tide so hopefully we can get a keeper but most of the time right now uh, what uh, I'm pulling is undersized I just one crab that's almost there but not even close so yeah Keeper baby, for sure. Alright guys, that's it. Time's up. It's pretty uh, tough of snaring today.